everyone and welcome back to my channel and uh, something that I have been working on. Let's pause here just in case because if, if something burns or whatever it, it's gonna be a nightmare to sort out and yeah. It's morning for me so it's also like my brain is half asleep. So, hi. Um, it's a new project of mine. You're, you're gonna be like, oh my god, you just finished one save file. What's going on? What is this about now then? Uh, it's a legacy challenge this time and uh, it's... We will start from the basics in this one, from base game. I'm literally in the base game basically right now. Um, yes, there is a tree house and things like that in here, but the basics that I do are from there. So like I have base games, uh, uh, aspirations, I have skills, I have uh, traits, everything from base game, like uh, careers. And we try to play like we did back in the day when the game launched. Uh, to an extent. Um, if you wanted to go, there is a website from James Turner that helps you to disable packs of your choice. Um, it's excellent, you could use that for this, and I fully recommend that, actually. It would be really smart to do. I just were a little lazy and I didn't do it, that's why we have like Treehouse and stuff like that here. But it's only because she had a aspiration where she wanted to do something in the Treehouse. We could actually delete it now because we finished that aspiration. I think it was this one, yeah, this one. So we could actually delete that or put it in the inventory, whatever. I, I didn't know it was that one, so that's why we bought it. Uh, there are some basic rules and notes to take in, like follow the rules, best of your ability, and you start with a young adult. For me, it was Mia over here. She was not originally a Kyleson. Um, there's also no money cheats. Money is easy enough to make in this game as it is, all right? Like I'm sitting on almost 50 grand. And I have done basically nothing in my life. Like she, she is still a young adult. She's about to turn adult in a couple of days. Kyle here already is on his way to be into the Silver Fox years. Beverly is like yeah, seven days from teenage. Like I have been playing this for days. It feels like, but honestly, it's just been two days. Um, if you don't own some expansions, you can skip them. Um, that's totally fine. I'm trying to make it open as possible for everyone to and easy to be followed. Um, I would also recommend a custom save file. I'm using my Silent Sugars one, which is actually really freaking good. I'm just saying. Um, there's so many weird sims here that I haven't met before or forgot that they existed. Uh, you are allowed to accept or decline all likes, dislikes, extra personality traits. Uh, but for me. They just make your scene more interesting. Like, for me, she started as um, hot-headed, ambitious and outgoing, and this is what we are at now. <laughs> it's insane! Uh, we are supposed to complete uh, all the goals before moving to the next generation, like career skills and aspirations. Um, that's just the goal here. If you are not able to do it, that's completely fine. The game doesn't break or anything. It's just... It's your best ability. If you can't get some skill going, you don't click with it, then just ignore it. It's fine. Uh, if a career or a collection is bugged, for example, or somehow impossible to complete, you can skip those too. After all, you're supposed to have fun in the game and not, you know, head bash yourself into a wall with it. And Mia is my generation one sim. This is base game and that means that we are between Willow Creek, Oasis Springs or Newcrest. Um, that means that I have not been traveling anywhere but between these tra uh, worlds. So I don't have access to Magnolia or Winterberg or, you know, Sansequoia. I have only been in here, in these three worlds. And... Um, I started in Newcrest. I started in a new, a new um, 
like a starter home. But then when our family started to grow, we needed a little bit more room and we still need more room, by the way. Either I renovate this or I move into a bigger house somewhere in Willow Creek, Oasis Springs or Newcrest. I have plenty of to choose from and I'm sitting on like 100 grand at the moment, so it's easy to find a house. Uh, the just like any other legacy, we will pretend that you either moved into a new city, were kicked out of your home, or some other juicy drama happened. Okay, it, it's up to you. You can create the background as you go. Um, but yeah, um, young adult uh, traits: hot-headed, ambitious, outgoing, aspiration, successful, lineage. This one, and then. We want to max out guitar, uh, 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 charisma, and comedy skills, and I'm not doing too well on those. <laughs> Ever since I met the children, I have kind of forgotten all these <laughs> skills. Uh, we max out entertainer career, the comedian branch, and funnily enough, we have. We have maxed that out, but you wouldn't even believe how. It was a random question that popped up. It was a random question that popped out and asked me some stupid, stupid thing and I answered yes and I got promoted to a max level. And then I made like the 50k basically on it. Like it, it, it was insane. Like it was like 3k each promotion and I was on like level 3 or some stuff. I, I don't even know. Totally really weird. Uh, you're supposed to marry and I have married Kyle. I don't know who is Kyle Carlson. I don't know if he's actually in the base game or who he is. But we clicked and we were excellent compatibility, I think it said. It said something. Hello? Are you saying something? There we go. Amazing compatibility. Compatibility. Oh my gosh, what a word. My tongue doesn't fit with it right now. Um, so yeah, he's, he's the daddy and we have three children. And she wants to have more. She every once in a while gets a whim like, oh, I want another child. But honey, we really shouldn't. We really shouldn't. And uh, then in some generations, I actually have a wish for if the heir can get pregnant or is it okay that it's your choice. Um, it kind of means that the next generation has something going on that requires that you, um, you know, can go around and, you know, get breakers in the middle of a bar night or some some stupid stuff like that. It's no biggie if you own, you can get someone pregnant, you can move those sims in later on. That's up to you. It's completely your story that you're telling. And after all, the legacy is called a dynasty's journey. So you are making a dynasty. Best of your ability, anyway. So, like... Just play for your own fun and do whatever you wish to be fun. And then we have the second generation. I have Beverly here. And she's going to be romantic, self-assured, erotic. And she's going to be the get to work and Magnolia Promenade. So she's uh, adding an, one more map for her to travel between on. So she will have Magnolia Promenade as well. And in base game, uh, in the base save file, you will have this lot free, so you could move in here potentially if you wanted to. Um, I'm not going to. And because this is a random uh, created save file, these lots are not even from get to work or whatever, but it's fine. I don't see an issue here. If, if you want to go uh, thrift or you want to go and get some boba tea, that's absolutely fine by me. Uh, she will be a serial romantic, and she, her likes and dislikes will be coming from game dis, uh, um, like suggestions, like here. Um, she likes fitness and guitar, she dislikes cooking, and she does not cook if she doesn't have to, and she gets so super sensitive if she does. We also like new disco music, and she likes flirtation. And she also likes cerebral sims. I don't know how uh, Kyle is one. But we go with whatever, and he likes new disco music, he likes and dislikes a lot of things. Um, yellow color, for example, I don't, we have yellow rug here, I'm amazed he hasn't gotten upset about that yet. And also he likes optimistic sims. I don't know if we have one in this house, but uh, let's go with it. 
And also uh, Beverly or any other children in the matter, Jimmy or Clara, whoever is going to be my heir, uh, they will max out cooking, handiness and logic skills. And it's actually excellent. You can see the fundamentals over here, but you can focus on skills already as a child. I had no idea. Is this update on the base game or growing together? I don't know, but I'm using it. It's brilliant and I am all for it. Uh, we are going to max out Dr. Greer, assuming it does not break and back out. And if it does, then highest the level possible we work for us. Because get to work, it hasn't gotten a rework as far as I'm aware. So it can be a little difficult, should I say. And we will have just one child with a married him, so we will not get married ourselves. And yeah, we, we just, you know... We are too busy with everything else in our lives to focus on creating a family or getting married or having a proper relationship. Yeah. And then we move on to get to get, uh, get together and Windenburg. And then we will move on. City living. Um, get together at Windenburg. Then we go to city living in San Maishuno. Uh, generation 5 will be Cats and Dogs and Brindle Bay. I'm sorry, vampires, but I, I'm not going to deal with you. No. Mm -mm. I got created as a extra generation, but mm -mm. I'm not into the cults. I might even skip the realm of magic stuff. I'm mm -mm. not into that. Not at all. Also, I have never played as a mermaid in Sulani, but I love Sulani. Like, Sulani is the vibe for me. So I I might have to go finally and play as a mermaid. Also, it has been ever since Strangerville launched, I have not played the story in it. So it might be something I consider doing as well. Because it, it did come with aspiration. So it might be something to look into. Yeah. Um, that's all, I guess. I uh, thank you for watching and enjoying my rambling yet again. Um, I hope I will see you being interested in this and yeah, and Carlson, <laughs> my uh, family is, uh, yeah, we, we, <laughs> we have a little bit of a, we even have spotlights in our living room. <laughs> I have no idea, but uh, that's what we have right now. Uh, Clara is... I don't know what Clara and Mia is doing, that they have weird strict family dynamics, so I'm, I'm not sure what's going on in there. But yeah, I hope you had a good time looking at this, and I'll catch up with you next time. Happy Simon. Bye-bye.